Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. Rocketing through their primary tasks and tying the bow on a few get-aheads, Mark Vandehei and Norshige Kanai wrapped up a successful spacewalk. It was a short spacewalk for the duo, timing out at just under six hours, but they really got a lot done. They moved some latching end effectors from the station's robotic arm, one of which was brought inside the station to be stored in the beam module until it's returned to Earth for refurbishment. They finished this primary goal a bit ahead of schedule, so they had some time to do some extra tasks, like tying down components at one end of the station's robotic arm and greasing up the end effector at the other end. This five hour and 57 minute spacewalk brings spacewalks for Expedition 54 to a close. The three spacewalks this year, two of them from the USOS side and one Russian spacewalk, total 21 hours and 34 minutes. And with the final spacewalk of Expedition 54 complete, it's time for some of the crew to get ready to come home. Flight engineers Mark Vandehei and Joe Acaba of NASA and Commander Alexander Mazurkin of Roscosmos are getting ready to undock from the station next week. They'll start with a change of command ceremony where Mazurkin will hand over command of the station to cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov before his departure. They'll say farewell the next day before detaching from the station and beginning their three and a half hour ride home. Check out nasa.gov slash NTV to see the latest times on how you can watch these events live. But before he goes home, Joe Acaba connected with the Paralos Nino School in Los Angeles to talk about his experiences aboard the space station. What does it feel like to walk in space? It, it's pretty exciting and it's, uh, it's very, very cool. It's a great experience, uh, but it's kind of weird when you go outside and you look down and you see the Earth 250 miles below you. It can be scary for a while until you realize, hey, I'm not going to fall but it's a great experience and I'm glad I've had that opportunity and hopefully some of you will get a chance to do that as well. Shay on Twitter asked how the human body is affected in space. Well, if you're an educator, you can share the answer with your students in a new NASA curriculum. In the curriculum called Heart to Heart, students can step into the shoes of a flight surgeon, learning what they do and how they help to keep the astronauts healthy in space, especially in their cardiovascular system. Here's a hint, working out really helps. Keep sending in questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space.